More than five months ago, on a hot day in August, Aurora police forced children, one as young as six, to lie on their stomachs, held at gunpoint on the pavement. The six-year-old is heard screaming, I want my mommy. It turned out Aurora police made a mistake. They were looking for a stolen vehicle, but this van the kids were in wasn't it. A few weeks ago, the district attorney decided not to file charges against the officers involved. We are all interested in seeing where this goes. Attorney David Lane expected that and prepared a civil rights lawsuit on behalf of the driver of the mistaken stolen car and the kids who were detained. He filed it Monday in Arapahoe County District Court. This is the first time the civil rights law that just went into effect in Colorado on July 1st has ever been used in state court. Lane believes this case against the city of Aurora and the officers involved has more of a chance because the police accountability law doesn't allow qualified immunity as a defense. That means even if there's no clear law the officers violated, the case can proceed and could set a new precedent. If a judge decides that, yes, indeed, the Colorado Constitution prohibits police officers from drawing guns on small children, there is no case law in Colorado right now that says that. There is some federal case law that says that, but there is no Colorado state case law that says that. The city of Aurora won't comment on pending litigation, but they reiterated that police chief Vanessa Wilson apologized and offered to cover the cost of therapy for the kids. Lane says that's not enough. That's a significant event in your life, and that is worthy of significant damages from a jury. The new state law says if the jury does find this family worthy of damages and the Aurora Police Department decides the officers should have acted differently, the officers themselves could be forced to pay up to $25,000 each. Katie Eastman, 9 News. Aurora police are still investigating the case. They said today their internal investigation only began after the district attorney completed his criminal investigation and found that the officers did not commit a crime.